recognition of the part played by black Americans in our war of independence. More than 5,000 of them. And we're going to be sending copies of the resolution with your signature to all the school classes in, in my district next year and to the other congressmen to be so well, in wonderful. their districts next year. Well, so. well, I think it's great to show appreciation to all uh, today's black citizens who are descendants of the, right. of the black citizens and the, and the slaves <laughs> at that time who fought for freedom or for all our freedoms. I wrote a little more carefully now on the school paper. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Dr. Thank you so much. Well, listen, thank you for doing this. It's a pleasure. It's my time. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. All the historians and Jimmy Nance is going to be very indebted to you for this. Yes. For bringing this attention to the country. It's true. Thank you. Is it in there? Thank <laughs> you. 
Insisted on coming over and got in the cabinet room there. And uh, just unanimous in their enthusiasm, and some of them frankly admitting their thinking was changed by what they'd seen, and came back. And still, the press is giving that other impression. That little other twist that we get all the time. Yeah. No, we're all used to it down there. I think the facts now are going to speak for the elections and not the impressions of the press. But our observers were tremendous in their enthusiasm. I think they're a very unified group. I think they had universally a very good report for you, from what I hear, you know better than I. But the foreign observers in the other countries felt the same way. But it was stirring when you got down there and you saw these long lines of people all there in the hot sun, uh, waiting to vote for them. There was a kind of national fiesta feeling, but also a sense of genuine privilege. A lot of them didn't know for whom or for what they were really going to vote. They all had sort of gut feelings. But the fact is, the fellows walked in from the guerrilla areas to vote. The guerrillas had to turn up their ID cards. And people came in from all over. Uh, even in the, in the major you know, cities, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I went down to the big stadium and there was this tremendous crowd voting. And uh, people were frustrated by that because the new register system was difficult to understand and they didn't know where they were going to vote. At 3.15, like electricity through the crowd, the word came down that a decision had been made to let anybody vote anywhere. Uh, and lines formed, and I went back at 5.30 in the afternoon, and everybody who ran into the stadium, he was got in line, and they voted. So that whole stadium full of people voted before the 6 o'clock deadline. Uh, next time, as you know, we're going to probably have another election down here in a month. Why well, we hope the system will be worked out better. But it was their system. We gave them the tools to do the job, and it was their system. Uh, and and they, they live with the faults, but they also live with the success. Two groups of photographers, so you're a small talk. You want to move over the other side, one way or the other? I think maybe we might. I could mention here before we have to get started in our meeting while we're coming in. I know we're all saddened by the death yesterday of Dr. Mays, the founder of Morehouse College. It's very sad to hear that. He's left us. 
application of service. sector partnerships have created a much more positive environment for progress towards self-sufficiency and the enactment of the endowment legislation I think has further solidified the economic base of those institutions. You have before you the annual uh, federal performance report that was called for by Executive Order 12330 and shows that federal support for your institutions in 1983 increased $61 million over the funding level of 81. It also describes a variety of private sector projects. And I'm also pleased to report that Secretary Bell is sending a task force to Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee to conduct a fact-finding mission. Fisk, I think, has long been considered a flagship among the historically black colleges and universities, and we're committed to providing the university with the technical assistance that it needs. Now, this is your meeting, so before hearing from you, let me just offer my best wishes for the National Association of Equal Opportunity in Higher Education having a successful conference while you're all here in Washington. And I understand now that Dr. Grizel Robinson, president of St. Augustine's College and board chairman of the association, will uh, be the principal speaker and lead off. Yeah, I'm, I'm back I'm back 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 call. Back. You know, uh, and uh, so what he tip yesterday is that I'm going to the same thing that you have to do. I figured that uh, I'd help you. <laughs> <laughs> my wife Nancy. Hello there. This is my wife's. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Pleasure. Hi. Oh, Mr. Hi, Mr. Hi, Hi, Mr. 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 President, you told me uh, when we talked before that uh, 
and how you made the change and they came into the meeting there in California and said you've been talking about changing and here's where you sign. One of the doctors that treated me in the little hospital in Florida was a young Republican at that meeting and he was busy telling me how he had seen you um, sign up and I said well I know all about that. <laughs> 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 I had made the decision and was accepted as a Republican and was making speaking at a fundraiser. And a woman stood up in the middle of the audience in the middle of my speech and asked me if I registered him and be registered. And I said, no, but I'm going to. And she says, I'm a register. I will write down the mouth. What about me? <laughs> 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 that's, that's really great. Thank you. 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 Thank you.